Hello and welcome to the Bionicle Saurus late night radio talk show. Today we are going to be uh, uh, talking about some real spooky, real ominous reports from uh, terrified local citizens of the legendary Mothman creature. Uh, many a human has reported seeing this horrific insectoid beast uh, skulking about in the night looking for children to devour. Uh, but it turns out he's made of plastic and produced by Safari LTD. So instead of fearing him, you should totally buy him from either SafariLTD.com or Amazon.com slash SafariLTD. And of course, if you would like to purchase this Mothman and be smart and get 15% off of your purchase, you can use discount code BIONIC. So yeah, there you go. Uh, anyhow, yes, uh, here is the Safari Mothman figure. Uh, I've never reviewed anything on this channel before that was not a model of a prehistoric animal. So, reviewing a model of a cryptid is definitely, uh, a bit different. So, uh, anyhow, yeah, the reason I got this figure is just because it's designed in a really interesting, really cool way. There's a lot of neat aspects to it. Um, Aiden, KikiZilla101, got it before me and highly recommended it. And I'm really glad I listened to him because, uh, this is a... A really cool model. This is a good reason to branch out from collecting just prehistoric stuff because it was totally a worthwhile thing to add to the collection. So first of all let's talk about the paint work because the paint is pretty simple but I think it has some cool effects. Uh, of course mostly this figure is just black uh, but I think that's kind of neat. It is very basic obviously but I kind of feel like I always think of Mothman as just being white or gray and so the jet black color I think really adds to sort of an intimidating creepy kind of look for the, uh, for the, the guy? Girl? Asexual invertebrate? I don't know. Uh, anyhow, yeah, the black looks nice. Black is always a good choice, you know, when you don't know what other color to use. We also have this metallic silver paint on the, um, on the nails, or the claws, rather. It's also on the teeth, which is kind of interesting. And we also have a straight-up metallic red on the eyes. It's super cool. I won't really be able to show it in this review too well, I don't think, but there is a picture on my Instagram, at Gibson Kite, which you can go check out if you want, where I actually captured a bit of reflecting light on that paint uh, decently well. Other people have shown it even better, uh, but it's a really cool detail. You know, you can't quite get, like, proper realistic eye shine from this model or anything, but the eyes definitely have a shiny, very piercing quality to them if the light catches them right. And just, yeah, that metallic red paint is a really unique, really cool choice. One of my favorite things on this Mothman. Uh, now, when it comes to the sculpt, the sculpt is really well done for the most part. Some nice, just sort of subtle fur texture over most of the body. I like that it looks like he's got like a freaking, you know, 16 pack of abs, but it's not actually really abs. It's more like torso segments, and it looks very insectoid and kind of alien and strange. Cool design choice. It's very odd that, like... The fur on his arms is almost like a sleeve that's rolled up, like, just in front of his elbow. Because, like, his hands are just totally exposed from the fur, and it's kind of ruffled up around here. Interesting choice. The face on this model is... I gotta adjust my light so you can see a little better. It's hard to light things that are pure black, but, yeah, you can see the face right there. I really love the way the head has been designed. Not only are the eyes cool, but all the little layers of fur and things around the mouth are neat. And one of my favorite details on the whole figure are these antenna, because they're like those signature fuzzy moth antenna, and that's just so cool. The wings also have some real-life uh, moth anatomy incorporated in the form of these odd scales. If you ever look at, you know, like micro, macro, whatever you call it, um, images, really close-up images of moths, you can see that their wings have this odd scaly texture, and uh, that's been captured really well. Then the... Uh, for lack of a better term, wing finger has just sort of a shaggy fur, and it ends up here in this, like, little spiral thing that you can see. It almost looks like a little finger curled into, like, a cinnamon roll. I don't know what to say about that, but I guess it's neat, and it gives him a very mystical sort of vibe. It's a cool, very fantasy sort of detail, I think. I like that the feet just have, like, two toes. It somehow feels insectoid. I don't know how, but it does. And, uh, yeah. Here's just a final look at the mo Oh, it looks really cool from that angle, like it's swooping down on someone and you're going, Oh God, Steven, no! Um, anyhow, 
yeah, I really like this. This is this is a great figure. I recommend it to collectors of prehistoric things or just scale models of cool stuff in general. So there you go. The Mothman is neat. I'm going to throw it a casual 10 because I have no complaints. And the more I look at it, the more I think it's one of the coolest things Safari has made in a while, which is surprising, but uh, really awesome. So here it is with the U-Tyrannus for a little bit of a size comparison. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the flap you know because he's he's got wings i thought it was clever